Thousands of people are fleeing Ukraine after Russia's invasion. This can lead to difficult discussions with children. Kids may be seeing graphic footage and images, and that can be hard to understand. Tonight, we're speaking with a communications expert on how parents can approach this topic. ABC 17's Erica McGuire is live for us in studio tonight. Erica, it's important to be open with children. Deb, experts tell me that it's important for parents to bring up the conflict in Ukraine, even if the child doesn't bring it up. They might not be on social media platforms or watching the news, but it doesn't mean they aren't aware of what's happening, and parents should address the conflict with kids of all ages. So it is important to come alongside your child and help your child just make sense of what is happening in the world. Dr. Colleen Colliner with the University of Missouri tells me that kids easily pick up on things and the first thing a parent should do is make sure their child understands that they are safe. Reassuring the child, you know, um, you're safe here, um, you know, this doesn't change anything for you, um, but it is kind of scary for other people, isn't it? When discussing the conflict, parents should not avoid words like war, bombing, or fleeing because those words are being associated with what is going on. Helping the child understand what war means, you know, because they are going to filter it through their own understanding. And then if we don't sort of help them understand what that means, they're going to come up with a fantasy about what that does mean. If you come across any graphic footage or images on social media, most likely your child is too. And it's best to address what they are seeing and how to process it realizing that you can feel those feelings and we can talk about those feelings and sometimes those feelings can be confusing. When or if a child is upset or scared about an issue such as Ukraine, it can lead to fear, confusion and anger, which can lead to a child having a change in behavior such as their eating, sleeping or attitude. I often encourage parents to think about what is behind the behavior. Like what is the function of this behavior? Why are they acting like this? And what need can I try to meet um, rather than punishing them for that behavior? Now, Dr. Colliner says if you do regulate how much footage and images your child is seeing of Ukraine, it's best to remember they still need understanding of what they are hearing and picking up on outside of your home. Deb. Okay, Erica, thank you. And it's also suggested limiting the conversation around your child about what is going on is helpful. It doesn't need to be talked about every day, but maybe every other day. It's also important to let your child still be a, a kid and to remind them that they're always safe.